Hi, we're going to be looking at where the formula for arc length comes from. If you're not sure what arc length is, arc length is if you imagine that you've cut a slice out of your circle like a slice of pizza, the arc length would be how long is the piece of crust on your pizza. You also have a minor arc length and a major arc length and we need to know how to calculate that length. We need to think about what the formula would be. We already discussed that if you were to start here and walk the whole way around the outside of the circle, you would have covered a distance of two pi r. Now, here are some examples we can see, and you can think about what the arc length would be. Here you can see that that's half a circle, so you would just take your answer for circumference and divide it by two. Here we've got a quarter circle, so you would take your answer for circumference and divide by four or multiply by a quarter. Here if you've got 60, well you can think how many times would 60 go in? So 60 would go into 366 times, so you'd have a sixth of the full circumference. So these ones are intuitive to us, but what we want to do is make a formula in case we have something like 58.2, and then it's not gonna be so clear what fraction of the circumference we have. Now, in all of these examples, to find the circumference, you can also think about what the angle would be here, often called theta. So if you've got 180, because it's a straight line, out of 360, which would be the full circle, that will cancel down to a half. 90 out of 360, that would cancel down to a quarter. And here, 60 out of 360 would cancel down to a sixth. So what we can do is we can take our angle and divide it by 360. That will give us what fraction of the circumference that we have. Now, this is the formula if you're going to work in degrees. If you'd like to work in radians, we shouldn't work with 360 because that's degrees. But we know that 360 is the same as two pi radians. And if we substitute two pi here, we can cancel this two pi with this two pi. And we end up with a formula for theta times r. So the arc length formula calculates what fraction of the full circle you have, and then you multiply it by the circumference of the full circle. In the next key skill, we're gonna be looking at some practical examples about how we can apply this formula to exam style questions.